So the first one we want to have a look at is the um, titration involving a strong acid and a strong base. This is by far the most common type of uh, acid-base titration that you will carry out. And what you can notice is that we have um, sodium hydroxide here, which is our strong base, and it's going to be added to a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid. Um, as the volume of added base increases, so we can monitor changes in the pH. Now, of course, if you're carrying out a titration and you don't have a pH meter or a pH probe, you're not going to know what's going on here. So you have to use an indicator in order to try and identify what's going on. Notice for the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base, we produce a neutral salt and water. The neutral salt is the key here because the neutral salt is going to have a pH of 7. Our equivalence point is the point where we have the correct ratio of acid to base. So if this ratio, for example, is 1 to 1, then the equivalence point is the point where that occurs. But what you notice happening with a graph like this is that there is a minimal change in the actual pH as we're adding our base until uh, we have reacted a fairly large amount of that acid and then the change is very rapid. So you can see here from say around about 20 mils to 30 mils, so only 10 mils of our base solution, we have a massive rise in pH going from about 2 at this point to 12 at this point. Now that's a massive rise. Trying to trying to figure out exactly what the point where the um, solution reached a pH of 7 is virtually impossible. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and instead find what we call an end point. And the end point is where we end the titration. That's where we're going to stop. And that point, we want to be as close as possible to that vertical section of the graph. Now, in reality, it's going to be uh, probably somewhere in this region. And certainly, we hope it is not somewhere up here because that's an overshoot. You've massively gone past that end point and you've added too much of your solution. And so it's going to affect the accuracy of your final calculations. This is the point when we're looking at different types of um, uh, acid-based titrations as well, because that tells us something about the type of indicator that we need. So if we start with our acid and then we're coming out at a pH of around 11, then phenylphthalene, is a particularly good indicator to use. Down in the acid region, it is colorless. Please don't write clear, please write colorless. Uh, and it changes to a pink color as it reaches that higher pH. In fact, a pH above about 8.5, something like that. So it's gonna go through that point and you're gonna to start to get that very pink tinge. And that's what you want when you're doing a titration with these two. You want that very pink tinge to tell you that you've just hit that um, end point. You've gone past the equivalence point, which is very hard to stop at, but you've got that end point and you must stop there.